Okay, so it's a few days later and got distracted with a couple other projects like I've been working on this thing right here. I got the bricks working. As you can see, I need to get some of the stuff done now, like ASAP. So that's what I'm doing now. That's why I'm working late. Filled one tire up, the other tire wasn't sealed. I gotta break the seal. And um hopefully it holds. So we'll see for another time. Well, I wanna get this thing running by this weekend. Having a little barbecue. Um send some invites out tomorrow but it's probably a little too late it's like a last minute thing but what I'm gonna do is for the barbecue and get these two things finished that I already started on even though I mean it's been a few days it's gonna seem like a few seconds for y'all because I'm going straight to another video well continuing this video so I'm gonna hop on this one take this thing apart move it back some see if I can make some room for it and get these two mammy jammies running. That way I'm not just riding the uh, Yoda. And I got some more videos. Y'all see it in videos next few days. That I'll be putting the motor on another vehicle. Can you see the two Bajas? Got a motor over there. That putting together, well, I guess reviving and throwing that on there's a little Honda five horse, five five horse, whatever. And that way we'll have those two, we'll ride them around for a little bit and then get rid of them. Just need to make some room. That's the objective for this month of October, even though it's not October yet, it's like September 29th, the 30th now. But this whole month, my objective is to get rid of. I've got like 20 vehicles, like y'all even see the ones outside, but in here I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 vehicles just in this garage alone. So yeah, then quite sure I got another 10 that's outside, so roughly 20 plus vehicles that, oh shit, 12. I mean, forgot about this bike right here. So 12 vehicles that I'm getting rid of minimum this month, so... Let's see how this goes. All right, let me get into this ludicrous speed time. Okay, so quick recap. Actually, I'm gonna just go over this thing. All right, so this thing, well, it doesn't have a battery in it, but the guy said it ran. He lied. This thing wasn't just running. This thing is beat the hell. He tried to say it has brakes. That's what you call brakes? Yeah, right. I mean, easy fix, but this thing, look, brake in, nothing. So hopefully it, I just need to bleed it. Let me fill it up and bleed it. I don't know. Find out. But first thing I'm gonna do right now before I take all this crap off is I'm gonna just take this off right here, this little foot protector thingy, this shifter, this casing right here, and see if I had the right kit. Because if I don't have the right kit, I'm gonna have to order a new kit and I'll just order it tomorrow. Because I ain't gonna take all this apart. I have parts laying all over the place like everything else is. Like I had that thing waiting on this kit. And I can't continue until uh, the kit comes in so I have a kit here but it had this one I've had this thing on here for I've had this for a long time the last one of these I had it took that but let's see hopefully this takes that and I could get this thing running tonight it's one o'clock in the morning probably 1 30 now because I've been getting everything together music blah, blah blah charging the battery for the Jetta and because I got a call out that I got to answer, but I got to do the relay chase so I can get the jet running. I don't know what happened. I think it's just the alternator. I bought a new alternator real cheap and no bueno. Never go cheap with a German car. Guarantee you. 
you'll end up paying more. So you might as well just go ahead and just pay whatever it is and then be riding. But anyway, back to this. Knock this out. Looks like you got some additives here. I mean, it looked like it used to look nice. Like this thing sits pretty high. But this body is crap. So I think I'm gonna have some fun with it, but I think I might make this the Cadillac donor quad. Cause see my race video, you see the Cadillac sitting on the side by the fence. That's gonna be a um, power wheels thing. I'm gonna just take one of these and cut it up, put it back together and have some fun. But this looks more sturdier than the one I have for it. So I mean, this body is crap like man like this cracked the hell this is the plastic one the hard plastic so it doesn't last for nothing that's the soft plastic. it looks like soft plastic it looks hard too but look at this holes it's another hole over here hole there but the kid have fun that's all that matters as long as your kid has fun but let me go ahead and shut up take this plastic piece off because this ain't protecting crap but you need so but yeah go ahead and get this thing apart back to ludicrous speed oh yeah I forgot to point this out this is the uh, where the key is supposed to be this is ridiculous the rest of the hell I'm sorry I can't stop talking about this thing I'll just look it's been taken apart because wiring's behind oh uh, Look at this, this is way, mm. it just hurts my heart. Yeah, it was just running. I'm so tired of people telling me that. Just tell me the truth, yeah, I had ran a long time trying to get as much money as possible. And I don't care if you need paper. But all right, let's do this ludicrous speed. You know what, this happens every time. Every time I don't look at stuff. But the reason why I didn't look at this is because, I don't know man, I need to stop letting my wife rush me doing shit. I tried to get there and get back, it was dark, so I really didn't get to look it over. But if I looked it over, I wouldn't pay what I paid for it, and I wouldn't have, probably, I probably wouldn't even have bought it. But, this is ridiculous. This thing is a piece of crap. Might have to put another motor in it because, fucking idiot, welded this on there it's rusted as fuck it's been worked on multiple times like every bolt is fucking loose like this is ridiculous so that's it for tonight actually that's it for this video actually so double fail double fail so hopefully the chain will be in for that one so I can finish this and this one, I might, I have a few motors. I don't know, tomorrow I'll turn it on the side and see if I could cut it, but I ain't gonna cut it now cause I don't like to cut inside cause I got gas sinks in here, but. Tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah, I'll see what it needs to be done. If not, it might be going into the shed and I'll pull another one out. I have two more in there. And one's a small one. Smaller than this one actually. But yeah, some I guess some just telling me not to work on this thing tonight. I'll work on anything because I read the signs. But thanks for watching. You know, stay tuned for part two of the double revival quad 125cc. It's gonna be something 125cc double quad revival. I don't know what I'm gonna name this video. I should say crappy revival because these are some crappy vehicles. Yeah. But they'll be fun once I get them done. Right now, they're not fun. No bueno. But yeah, subscribe. And who are, for my subscribers, thank you for subscribing. I'm almost at 30. And slowly going up.
So I'm glad people are watching my videos and they're very interested. Sorry that this one has really no content, a lot of fast forwarding. But I just wanted to, I was hoping to fast forward through it while I put these together and all of a sudden get some rhyme shit. Crap. But yeah, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for this build because I'm going to go ahead and work on this one and the go-kart. And I'm going to find a place to put this for now. And that one also probably so I can make some space in here because this is crazy. Maybe I'll bring the go-karts in here from in there and set them up. Do one go car at a time and get them out of here. All right, but thanks for watching. Big man out. All right, welcome back to the Bake Cave. I am baking and we are working on this four wheeler. I need to get this stuff going. Um, been killing it. As y'all can see from my other videos, I've been killing it and not succeeding in getting anything fixed. <laughs> but no, it's cool. That's a part of this life, so you're not going to fix everything. But what I'm going to do right now is work on this four-wheeler, little china quad. And what I'm about to do now, I'm just testing for spark. Got the little spark plug undone. I'm about to go get, get my uh, little testy spark plug right here. It works. I've tested it before, so. But I got to take that little front piece off. And I'm going to spin the crank. And see if I get any spark. Hopefully I do. It'll make the wiring a lot easier. Cause like before, you'll see that this is welded. That pisses me off right here. They welded this thing on. So if it doesn't have spark, I'm gonna have to cut it off so I can get this cover off and redo the wiring. I have a kit here. Hopefully it's the right kit. If not, I'm gonna take the kit off of the other one that's not working. Y'all saw, I think, from my last video, and put it on this one. This ain't no good. It's all over the place, man. I don't know. Maybe I should go dig deeper into this. This is the rip. I call this the rip-off quad. It's pretty big, though. It's a lot bigger than the other one I have over there. I don't know if they did, like, a suspension upgrade or what. Hmm. That is zoomed in. But it's a lot taller, the tires are a lot bigger. These are four lug instead of the three lug that's on the uh, other one. They're both on 25cc, but I'm guessing this one's probably a 94. It's got like the three lugs, like the 90s and below do, and this one's four lug. So I was gonna actually just throw one tire on there. Cause that one's done, it just needs the wheel done. So, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and Test this thing for spark right now. Check it out. I'm assuming it's not gonna have spark, but if it does, I'll be so happy. Like I didn't Oh man. Ah, it's got compression. Let me take the spark plug out. Give me a second. Okay, so we're back. We got the spark plug out. Brand new spark plug's crazy. But it wouldn't turn because of the compression. Yeah. Oh. All right, so we have no spark. As y'all can see, better than I can. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, that pisses me off, that upsets me. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this thing apart. Well, I'm gonna clean it first, and I'm gonna take it apart. And I'm gonna cut this piece off just to see if this is the one that works for it or not. I can't see in a hole. Oh, I can see. Holy shit. Lucky day, so it is the same. Like, you see that little iron? Little line right there. 
That's what we have right here. So boom, this kit will work on it. And I can actually have this thing running today. I have another carburetor that'll fit on here. And matter of fact, I'm gonna blow up the tires first and then I'm gonna clean it off. Take this thing apart, put the new kit on, put it back together, doing willies. Stay tuned. Alright, so my battery died on my camera, so I'm using my iPhone, which will probably be better. So, got it all cleaned up. Now I'm about to cut this off. So I can get to this, switch all that out, and then clean the carburetor. Um, gas thing's crap, so I got do that too. Just realized I left my, uh, damn it, spark plug in there. Which was for another vehicle. Got to blow up the air, blow up, change the oil, and we will have ourselves a running. Why is there a filter here? See, this is the crap you got to deal with when you buy crap from crappy people. But we're about to fix all that. So I'm going to fast forward to cutting this off, and then. Oh, that makes me mad. I wish I could just bang that thing off. But I can't get a grinder in there and they weld it where you can't grind it. So I have to cut that off and do what I could do. If anything, I just weld it back on and go from there. But let me get the grinder. All right, so what I'm doing now, I'm just trying to fill up the tires, I'm trying to, uh, I don't know who that is, but I'm trying to, Strap them down with ratchet. Hold on, you can see. With the ratchet, I already did this back tire. It's actually easier. I thought it was gonna be harder than the front, but the front tire is actually harder. So I'm gonna tighten it down more. The way I can get some sort of grip on the bead and catch. While I'm waiting for it at the seat, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on these other tires and see if they need the same thing. All right, so I couldn't get those two. They just don't wanna give, they're so hard. So what I'm gonna do is just keep those on there. Let it just, I don't know. I might take the wheels off definitely and do it, but I got this wheel, that wheel set. It's crazy. All right, so now I'm gonna take this bad boy apart and this new wire harness on. The tank was crappy. I wish I'd known that. Let me see if I could clean it. Let me look in here. Let's check it out. It's been a while. Mm. It's not bad. A little rust. Put some bolts and stuff in there when I take it off, shake it around, it'll be fine. Clean the carburetor and get this thing back going.
Okay, so. All right, so I got a, a part. Some for some. Okay, I just found another issue with the rear brake. It's rusted out. So what it is, I'll fix it somehow. I'm just holding on by the spring. Check this out. So I was pushing the brake down and it was just loose. And I was like, what the hell? So I looked, it was like, bam. See that big hole right there? That is supposed to be in that big hole. So I'm about to test my welding skills. This is crazy, man. Looks like I could take this off. And this part right here looks like it goes inside here. So it explains why this isn't working. Greatness. I just hope it will work, period, because I doubt it's gonna work. If anything, I just won't have rear brakes. I don't really use them anyway. Except for wheeling, but I'll see if that brake pump works. And but in the meantime, let me finish getting this top off, which is a pain in my ass. I'm trying to do it one way without having to take all this other stuff off, but it's more work. But let's get to it. All right, so we are, I'm halfway done. Actually, like I got the main wiring done like this. It's not gonna be covered obviously because oh, I'll probably throw some zip ties over it and do a little wrap like that. Zip tie this here and there's like another piece right here. Zip tie those together because obviously those don't match. That way I know that I'm actually talking about that way because these don't match at all. So zip tie that and got zip tie here. Zip tie this stuff all up here because some reason. Yeah, I guess I could slide this here. Not even looking at it. I guess I could slide this here because there is no place for me to put this. Now I can take this bolt off, slide that down. It should be enough room. But then I don't have any place to put. I don't know where it is. Should be back here or this thing. So I'm gonna zip tie this somewhere because there is no place for anything. Cause everything's supposed to be in the back somewhere. I'm guessing this is supposed to be here, which it won't fit. This is probably supposed to be here, which I probably could still do. Just zip, do that and then zip tie that onto the frame somewhere, probably right there in front of it. Yep, yeah, that's what I'll do. Looks good, let's do it.
All right, so I'm in the final stages of this um, revival. Like, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up the battery, make sure everything turns over. If it doesn't, I, I'm gonna be pissed for one and two. This has never been twice. See, this is something new. I must do. I don't do that zip tie. I accidentally did the um, uh, negative in the zip tie right here. So now it's kind of stuck there, which I don't mind. It's still kind of out of the way. It's not really bothering me. All right, let's see what we got. So everything's connected and ground's connected. That's so on. And the key was already on. Now, these need to be connected in order for it to work. So what I'm gonna do is just slide this in here and put the plastic over it and then Hit the juice and see what we got. There's no reason why this thing shouldn't work. Well, there's one reason, and I'm not gonna say it out loud because I don't wanna jinx myself. Hey, that's what you do with the ones that have a bad little, um, A uh, handbrake. When handbrakes are bad, those don't work. All right, so that's good. All I have to do is clean the carburetor now and the tank, and I'm gonna change the oil, and this thing will be running. So let's go ahead and set up to clean the carburetor. Hi. All right, so I was gonna just switch this out because, I mean, it's the easiest fix, and I was trying to do a quick switch out and um i mean a quick flip but i'm intrigued by this uh um carburetor i mean one i like to keep things original if i could salvage it i will but this one has like allen uh screws in it nuts you know whatever you want to call it so now i'm curious to see how it looks inside looks like the right size it's always the right size all right let's go ahead and let's get in let's dig deep okay so i got it undone and oh damn it, it should have been a slow it looks like there's like a oh that's in don't break. Whew. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Man. <sighs> people stop lying. Oh my god, this pisses me off. Pisses me off when people lie. Lie, lie, lies. All I've been doing is talking about how to do lie. Yeah, it was just running uh, a couple weeks ago. Bullshit, because this is why. Ain't no way this fucking... Excuse my language. I'm pissed. Ain't no way that this was running a few weeks ago. No way, kind sir. So now I got a... I know I got an extra... Here it is right here. Boom. Luckily, I have an extra one on deck always because of liars like that. 
Man, that's one of my good ones. I think I have another one somewhere too, like in a box or something like right here. So, but this one's huge. I don't wanna put this big one. Or is that the size it is? Looks like maybe it's the size it is. Yeah, it looks like maybe it's the size it is. So that one's going on. This one's for a smaller one. I can tell by the top of it. And I want to get some horses out of this pony. And so here's a new one right here. I thought I was recording. I was actually recording my ugly face. So this is the old one. That I don't want to mess up my desk. That's crazy. I mean, I probably could bring it back. I don't want to. So I'm going to put it back together, sit it in the drawer, and I don't know, maybe one day I'll get bored and clean it. But I don't have time for that. That day is not today. So oh, I got to need an air filter. I know I have a new one somewhere because I just saw it. Anyways, let me get this one thrown on. And oh, there it is. This air filter is going on it. I've been looking for this cap. It's crazy. And it's inside the filter. This fits. Yep, fits enough. So this is going on there, and that should pretty much wrap it up. So I gotta clean the paint too. So I should do that real quick before it gets too dark. It's like 6:30. Cause I want to hear this thing start up. And I could change the oil and everything in here. Let's do that. All right, let me get it. So I got the tank cleaned. Right now I'm changing the, the oil. The oil wasn't that bad. I didn't want to bore you with all that other stuff. I got other videos with that happening. Could have fast forward through it, I guess, but. Nah. And I think that this will have like a well, I know it didn't fall in here, it's too big. A washer so it wouldn't leak oil. Put this back on, throw some oil in it, throw some gas in it, and then we'll have a running vehicle. so much it's being quiet me friends y'all all right so that's on throwing this oil I was just looking at it at the wrong angle. Now it looks bad. Huh. So I was talking to my wife today and I told her, hey, I'm really lacking because I should have a vehicle done a day, but my problem was that I would try to do more than one vehicle a day. Like I figured if I do get a lot of vehicles that I would at least get one done. So this ain't leaking. No drips. It's supposed to be like 700. So hopefully I have enough 
I didn't think I ran out of oil this fast. But anyway, um, so what? that's why I just focused on this one vehicle because I could have knocked out these bikes right here easily. Because all I do is throw the motors on. Um, I got the chain, but I only have one um, clutch. So I have to get on the internet and order one. I want to order one with the chain so that I can have extra chain. Oh, shit, that's perfect. So I still have a little bit of oil left. Like, how much oil do I have left? Is it 200 milliliters? Basically, I have no oil left. Made it squish. All right, so that's one. I almost started this with the whole oil in it, and everybody knows that is not smart. I always make sure you change your oil. Don't trust the last person. This looks like it has water in it. See how this works. I did clean the gas tank, but I need to clean it more. To be honest with you. All right, hold on a second. I don't even know why I stopped. That. I should just get it going. God, I gotta mount the uh, tank. Don't wanna lose that. So I don't know what I was seeing, so I'm just going to start on something else. Right, so this looks like it will go like back here somewhere. And this one looks like, yeah, it was up front here somewhere. And then they had holes to make them feel better. Just do it here. Today is Saturday the 20 something. How long is next week? But today's gotta be the 23rd if Saturday's the 30th. I thought today was 22nd for some reason. But it doesn't matter. Because every day is Halloween to me. And every day is my birthday. Oh shit. Go. So we have a working vehicle. Supposedly, let's find out. And tonight I might come back and finish putting this thing together. I do have a chain for it. Looks like oil's been leaking on this gas can. Right, put some gas in here and see if it leaks first. Don't put too much. So we need enough to Of all things to leak, 
and it might be my fault. Luckily, I have another one right here, so I'm gonna switch these out quickly. Yeah, that thing's soaking through. Come on. All right, so let me turn this off. Yeah, doesn't matter, it's leaking. So I gotta get this fast and it is leaking. Yeah. Huh, all right. That was exciting. I might have blew out the seal when I was blowing that air through it. Y'all saying, duh, dummy? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, I'll see if I can salvage it. If not, it is what it is. Oh, all right, so I got, I should have just switched it out anyway. But like I said, if I can use the old stuff, I will. I'm gonna take this apart and see if I can salvage it. I mean, it's in, it wasn't in good working condition until I probably blew the seal out. But they have rebuild kits for these and. Whew, these fumes ain't no joke. Take two. This time, after. That's why you test with a little bit of gas. What's gonna make me mad is tonight when I do it. If it works, better do the same thing tomorrow. All right, fingers crossed. Choke on, got gas on. The fuck, like what? This one's leaking too? Gotta be right here. It looks like it's something right there. That's why I, man, I need to order some hose. I thought I ordered some hose. But I probably went to a different area. 
go. Oh my goodness. This thing. Yeah. Shoot, isn't it? That should do it. <laughs> and that did it oh boy so I am a firm believer of paying attention to the signs and something's telling me to uh, go ahead and call it a night so that's what I'm going to do let me unplug this battery and damn wanted to hit this thing crank over all right, well, thanks for watching. Well, actually, no, we'll just pick this up tomorrow. Um, it's going to be a lot of editing anyway, so. Um, when we come in a few minutes here for you. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do that. Weld that back on. Weld that other piece on. And put this thing back together and do some willies. Okay, welcome to part two of the little... 125cc possibly uh, Escalade build actually I think I'm just use this frame for the Escalade because this is why this frame this body is so beat up like I mean it's gonna get beat up more regardless the Escalade frame is probably gonna get beat up but this thing is so chewed up that I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and use this as the donor for the Escalade since it's so beat up and I gotta take it apart anyway it's, it's perfect so that's what I'm gonna do. But I think I'm gonna ride around with this body on it for a little bit. But it's definitely gonna get the Escalade for, uh, body on it. And I'll probably start cutting that up tomorrow, Monday. Have the thing done by Friday. Um, I gotta see how these tires are holding up. Uh, that one still has air. That one still has air and this looks flat. Oh, so it has a little air in it. So, probably hold up for a little ride. But that one doesn't seal yet, so these three are good. For the most part. But anyway, uh, last night, in part, when we ended part two, I was having issues with this. And my other one leaked, and this one already started taking it apart. So what I'm gonna do is take the little rubber guts if it fits out of here and put it in this one. Since the only thing that was wrong with this is that rubber guts right here, like it's really hard and it's not sealing. Like when I put it on off, it starts leaking through the rubber. So I'm gonna switch that, throw it in here cause I was gonna order a new one, but it dawned on me to go ahead and just do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch them out. I'm gonna take this tank back off because it's the easiest way. So I don't have gas leaking everywhere. Switch them out, put everything back together and then go ahead and try to start this finally. So hold on. Okay, so I got it all together. Um, it was actually perfect. So fuel is not leaking. It actually worked. So that saved me eight bucks. I'll go ahead and throw the other piece away since it's broken. But I, I don't know, I might keep it just in case I need like a, a taco switch or something. But that's working, so I'm gonna go ahead and crank it. Let's do this. Cut off, but I was gonna cut off anyway.
So, boom. We got ourselves a working vehicle. So now what I need to do is weld this back on since I had to cut it off to fix it. That's gonna be easy. Just boom, put that there and I guess it was like this or something, I don't know. So I'm gonna shave a little bit of it off that way I can get a full bead on instead of just welding around it. But maybe, I don't know, maybe I could just do that. Let's see. No, it goes this way, so. I don't know. It's got like a bead on the deck. Oh, okay. I gotta file it down and then weld it. I gotta weld this back on. And then, um, I gotta weld the brake on. I don't know if I wanna do that right now. I wanna ride it, like right now, now. I showed y'all the brake. I want to ride it right now, now, but I told my wife I wasn't going to do any work this weekend. But, I want to be a man. If you didn't, just go ahead and complete what, what you were doing. I guess I could put the top back on because from the looks of it, I can do everything without the, with the top on, but I don't want to have just a little hindrance. Since it's already taken apart, I'm just going to do everything while the top is off. That way, if I need to get, it won't restrict me on angles that I know that if I don't, uh, if I put the top on, I know I won't have. That's just how it's been with this project. So I'm going to take advantage of it in its state and weld these on. Well, they use two pieces on there while it's taken apart. I should just do it real quick because it won't take me that long. That's what I'm gonna do. I want to get this thing done today. So, um, go ahead and finish. I want, yeah, I want to finish this project up today. That way, I can post all, post these two videos up, or maybe I'll just make one. I already said that's gonna be the end of part two, but I think I can do it all in one. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. Let me go ahead and move to outside, and we will do this. Okay, so it's not the prettiest welds, but it's on there, it's working. That's all that matters. See, now I'm at the slide that up or around, get that in there. Easy work, but rear brake pedal's working. And the shifter yeah, is back. So now I'm gonna put this thing together and Go for a ride. Look, the tire came undone again, so I got to redo that. <sighs> All right, let me get this thing. Okay, so here it is. Pretty much the end product. It runs. Ah, oh, I always do that. And cut off the uh, zip ties. It runs. Um, I didn't even try to shift it because I didn't want to try to move it because this tire, well not, 
fucking will not act right. So I'm trying it again. I'm trying to throw some soap water on it. Maybe the beetle, will, maybe it'll like hold or something. And I want to take it out. I got to see what's up with the rear brake. But because when I press on it, it leaks like it's leaking now. I don't know where it's leaking from. That's crazy because I've never seen that before. So, but I, luckily I have that exact caliper in the drawer. It's crazy. It's like I knew. I ordered it by accident. And it's, and it's here. So, if anything, I just throw that one on and lead it and have rear brakes. But I got this one done. Now I need to work on this one. But I ain't gonna start that today. I'm gonna start it tomorrow. Cause I'm about to grill. Ah, uh, all right, so that's the problem. I gotta somehow clean that out cause this thing doesn't like to pop out all the time. Steering's a little off. Feels like. Just take it slow just in case the wheel decides to fall off because I didn't even check the lugs. Alright, so. Don't like the whole air. So we got a working four wheeler. Need a little paint. See if it stops. The brakes are iffy. Horsepower is like not really there. Not like uh, Yoda. Yoda will smoke this thing. Now see why people were saying that thing looks like it's a 110 or 90. Try the header carburetor. I guess like I just pulled this carburetor out of my jump drawer. It's working pretty fine, but a lot of things I still need to do. Just take one more lap. The brakes are. Annoying. Sounds like it may be off. Once I bleed them and get them adjusted right, it'll be fine. There is the. What the hell was that? Made a weird noise. Something's definitely loose back here. I heard some rattle. That's not good. I've already welded one part. Oh, uh, two parts. One I had to cut though. So my back wheel doesn't fall off. I'm taking it slow. But this is the escalator right here. That might be going on top of this. I think it'll be dope. Nice first paint job. All right, let me go ahead and park this thing. Nice and tight, buddy. Okay, so it wasn't that bad. You gotta find out where that. It's gotta be the brakes rubbing. Let me pull Yoda in, but yeah. We got another working four wheeler for the most part. Well, running, it, it goes and it stops. Oh. All right, but all right, so thanks for watching. Let's see what we're gonna do about this barbecue now since it's raining. Sorry about the noise. Gas off. Yeah, something's wrong with that carburetor. It's leaking gas. Bad. I might have to pull it out. Look at that. It's crazy. That's gas already. Hold on, guys. So, I just pulled this thing in, and you see how much gas? I just moved this back, and look where gas is leaking out the overfill. So I'm gonna have to take this carburetor off and I think
think that's probably why I took it off before it was an issue. So, and that's probably why it's not responding like it should be, like the Yoda is. So what I actually, what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm just order a new carburetor, swap them out and then see what's going on with that one. Because the, the one that was on it was trash. Yeah. Oh, well, thought somebody was knocking on the garage door. All right, but yeah, appreciate y'all for watching. Again, I know I've said goodbye like maybe 50, 11 times, but this is it. I'm just happy that this thing's running. I'm mad that carburetor's crap now. It's always something, but I'm gonna get on the Amazon or me a new carb and call it done because I got the brakes and even though they're squealing. I'm put the new brakes on so it'll stop, but they're probably just bad. All right, thanks for watching. Big Cave out. So, the apologize for saying it's gonna be two parts. Really didn't need to have two parts. Um, the next video of this one is gonna be me doing the uh, three lap time challenge to see if I could be, if this is faster and top speed. So, Excited about trying to ride this. Maybe I should move the handlebars back a little bit. So it's together. And let me see how it rides. If it rides nice, I'll leave it. If this is like a problem. I will go ahead and go with the uh, Escalade build that I already said I was, uh, uh, that I want to do anyway. So I can move some of this stuff because this body is really crappy. But these things are made to be beat up. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave your comments down below. I know I asked a few questions and requested somebody to respond to me so I can get stuff to finish building these things faster. So, all right, but thanks for watching. Uh, Bay Cave out, it's time to barbecue.